I'm no speak. If you're new around here, I'm April. I used to upload every Sunday at 6 p.m. But life has been busy. But I'm determined to get back into the swing of making YouTube videos. So if you are new, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me. But I'm back today with a brand new video. I do apologise for my absence. I have recently gone full time in my outside of YouTube job. I don't earn a lot of money from YouTube. So your girl's got to work. She's got to get the coin for Disney and all of our holidays and stuff. So I just wanted to catch up with you all. I have been shopping. Um, I've recently lost a bit of weight so a lot of my clothes weren't fitting me anymore so I've really had to like kind of rethink my wardrobe I feel like my style has evolved a little bit since I've lost the weight and I've kind of been gravitating more towards kind of like a not a capsule wardrobe but more kind of like staple items that I can style up in certain ways and I'm really loving kind of gravitating more towards staple capsule pieces so I thought I'd show you kind of the stuff that I've picked up recently in the last like month or so but I do appreciate everyone that has stuck around whilst I've kind of been figuring out what my place on YouTube is and kind of how I can fit it around uploading my content around my job and stuff I've yeah I've had a lot going on the past few months of 2024 and YouTube's taken a back burner unfortunately but I'm determined to get back into it like I said so I've got to go into this big H&M bag which doesn't mean that there's a lot it's just the two items that I picked up were quite big and I had to cart this back on the train from London but the first item is something that I actually saw someone I follow on Instagram um, style up. I think she has a black version. It's Casey Created. If you follow her or if you want to kind of follow someone that has kind of a capsule style again, um, she's been doing like a series of where she styles up kind of capsule staple pieces in her wardrobe in multiple ways. And she had this really lovely bag um, that she brought from H&M and I just absolutely love the colour of this. It's kind of like a khaki green, almost like brown colour. And I just love the style of it. It's so different. It's got this buckle detail on each side, which is, I think you can adjust these, this top handle. It's quite structured, but at the same time can be quite flexible. So it fits quite a lot of stuff in it. And then you've also got this cross body strap that you can adjust as well. So it can either sit on your like go across like that or can sit on your shoulder depending on how you like to wear it and then it's pretty roomy inside so it's got a two big sections and then you've got like this middle section that fits perfectly a phone so it's quite open it's only got a pop of fastening but i believe this was 27.99 if i show you anything that's available online i will link it in the description below just so you can obviously um shop it yourself if you want any there will be affiliate links where I can, which means that I earn a very small percentage of commission. It doesn't affect how you shop or anything. It just means that I'm kind of showing the brand, that I'm I'm influencing you almost or pushing a sale towards um, them. And it helps me make more content for you and show you some nice things in the shops. Yeah, really different style. I think they do this in this colour cream and black so really nice staple like everyday bag i feel like this would be good if you um kind of worked in the city and you need to carry a little bit more rather than just a smaller bag and then the other item which has certainly become a staple in my wardrobe in the last year or so is a trench coat and because i said that i've lost a little bit of weight recently my trench coat that i had from new look that i have absolutely loved i think it was about four or five years old doesn't fit me anymore it was far too big it was drowning me so i kind of went on a mission to find a slightly smaller but more kind of like fitted trench coat and I came across this one in H&M in Stratford where I got the bag 
and I just absolutely love this. So I got it in a size large because I did try the extra large on, but it was absolutely massive and definitely would have drowned me just like the um, new look one was. It's slightly longer, which is quite nice because I am quite tall, I have quite long legs. I'm five foot eight, but my legs are quite long, so I do find things look a lot shorter on me but this is such good quality like it actually keeps you a little bit warmer than some of the like cheaper um trench coats do and i love the color of this it's a slightly darker color than some of the trench coats you see and i just absolutely love the style of this it goes so well i'll try and include a picture of what it looks like on um because i have worn it quite a lot i even wore it when we went out for our easter sunday walk this morning and i just absolutely love it it is brilliant i believe it was 44.99 which i know is on the like slightly more expensive size but a trench coat will see you through like the early kind of vibes of autumn and also kind of like the early bits of spring where it's still a little bit chilly but you don't want to wear a big winter coat still i just love chucking this on with jeans like i've got today and a jumper or wearing it with some like wide leg black trousers it just is such a fail safe kind of coat and i absolutely love this one so if i can find it online because i can buy it in store i will link it in the description below but can't recommend it enough it's absolutely brilliant and then on to new look i find new look at the moment is very hit and miss with me especially when i go into my local one i'm not a massive fan of a lot of stuff that they have in store um the one that i got all of this from was actually in their norwich store and i i like the selection they have they do have normally quite a lot of the trending bits towards the front of the store and then you can kind of find some basics the further you go in but i brought three items from here all given very different vibes but the first one i'll show you is this mesh midi dress and it's a short sleeved one so i'm very much looking forward to the warmer weather i got it in the size 18 it was 29.99 and i just absolutely am loving this style i did actually buy quite a few towards the end of like autumn and stuff that i quite liked pairing with boots or like high top converse i just find they're a really easy but it looks like you've got made more effort than you have kind of item to throw on but i thought this would be perfect for spring and even summer because it's quite lightweight but it does have like a an almost thicker material lining because it is see-through but yeah absolutely love the style of this. they had a few different kind of like patterns in this so if you're not a massive fan of this kind of like almost distorted stripe style there might have been a different design for you but this is very almost on the verge of a bodycon fitting dress so if you're not if you're between sizes i would recommend sizing up because sometimes with these they are they almost fit a little bit better if they're a little bit looser so you don't feel as restricted but absolutely love how this looks and it will go so well with some of the other items i will show you in the haul in a little while the next item is a completely different style item to what i just showed you but it is this crochet cream cardigan with kind of almost wide lay um wide arms on it and it's just instead of buttons it's got a sorry i'll move the label out the way it's got this tie fastening instead which i thought added a really nice kind of detail to it rather than buttons and it then meant it kind of sits nicer and like flows over your body a little bit better this was 25.99 i got it in the size 20 because i do quite like my knitwear to little be a little bit more oversized but this fits perfectly especially if you obviously want to keep it tied up it doesn't feel like it's gaping too much it's a really nice like kind of heaviness that it feels like it's going to sit quite nice on you and i thought this would be perfect for spring but also in those summer evenings where you kind of don't want to wear a coat but you want something that just keeps you a little bit warm i know it's got a lot of holes in it but it just adds that little bit of extra layer 
but yeah really like that and not something i would typically go for but i thought it was quite nice either if you wanted to just wear it as a alternative of a jumper or um like over a plain black dress or something and then the last item you'll sense that there's a theme of me buying bags at the moment i recently got a rid of quite a few and I found myself having a few gaps of ones that I was kind of like looking for and I saw this and it was actually in the sale in New Look and I could not resist and I don't think it takes any guesses to realise what kind of brand this is trying to mimic in terms of designer but I just love the style of this with the top handle but also the cross body and I just love the monogram kind of detail and then you've got this like little detail where you can pull this up and then it has like a little ring pull kind of thing where you can almost probably like hook a bit key on or um, some hand sanitizer or something but like really like the style I think it's a little bit smarter to, uh, compared to some of the other bags I've got and I think it was about £18 on the sale, so not too bad, and it holds so much stuff. I've actually used it today, so I won't open it and get everything out, but yeah, absolutely love that. Now, as with New Look and H&M, I feel like Primark has been a little bit hit and miss for me as well. I haven't really been a massive fan of a lot of stuff they've been releasing in terms of kind of like this spring summer stuff I find as always it's all, always cropped or just not suited for slightly bigger um, girls and stuff so I found it quite hard to kind of pick up a lot of stuff which obviously is good for my bank account but I've that meant that I've got kind of a random selection of stuff that I have ended up picking up so you'll have to bear with the items that I will show you because they are a little bit all over the place but the first item is this travel bottle set and I think I saw someone else pick this up on TikTok or something but this was £5 and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, six different bottles and pots and stuff but I just really loved kind of the style of the bag as well I think this will be perfect we're obviously doing quite a few different trips this year so I thought this would be perfect to kind of either put in my hand luggage or my proper suitcase and stuff but just really like the style of this and thought the squidgy bottles are quite good and it's kind of got like a pump um bottle as well which is quite good for cleansers and um different products like that so yeah a bit of a random one but useful nonetheless and then also i got some socks so i really want some of the birkenstock boston mules but I am so reluctant to kind of fork out £100 on a pair of shoes that I'm not 100% sure on, even though every time I see someone sell them up, I just absolutely love them. So I've brought these socks with the intention of signing them up with these, but also signing them up with a few other pairs of shoes. These are actually in the men's section. Sorry, there's a motorbike going past and it's very loud. But yeah, these were £6 for a pair of five. But I just liked some of the colours, particularly this colour. And that's kind of the colour of the Boston um, Birkenstocks that I want. But I've seen on TikTok shop that there's some very similar dupes on there that a pe lot of people are raving about. So maybe I might take the plunge and get those instead and see if I style them up. And then if I really do want them, maybe I'll get someone to treat them for to me for my birthday in July and then that way I feel like enough time has passed for me to really know if I want them or not that's kind of my reasoning but these look really nice and men's socks fit me better because I have size 7 slash 8 feet and I find the lady socks just never fit me but yeah these feel like really nice quality and will be perfect to style with my TikTok shop Birkenstocks if I order them next item is a pair of shoes that i think are going to divide people they will either love or hate them but i can tell you for one just walk around the house with them they are probably one of the most comfiest pairs of like kind of work shoes i have ever brought and i'm very tempted to get another pair because i know i'm going to wear these so much that i'm going to wear through them and then i'm not going to be able to get them again but if you aren't aware 
there is a massive trend of kind of like ballerina pumps coming back in i used to absolutely love them when i was younger definitely didn't used to style them as well as some people are now but i saw these that have a double strap across them in primark for 12 pounds and i thought these would be perfect for work especially in spring summer um sign them with some like wide leg trousers or some of my kind of like pretty dresses and skirts that i can wear for work but these are so comfy they've got like a cushioned sole but the backs of them are so comfy and i love kind of like the square toe detail almost at the front of these yeah i know they're not going to be to everyone's taste but they're for work i'm not going to kind of see myself wearing these out other than work so i really did need something that was comfy and now i'm full time i need options of different shoes to wear so they came home with me next item i told you there was a theme of bags i didn't realize until i laid them all out um to prep film in this video i had brought one two three four bags in the last month or so which kind of shows i've got a little bit of a problem sorry if there's a slight different kind of like angle i just had to change the battery you can tell i'm out of practice i literally have been filming for however long this video is and my battery was fashion so yes back to the bag this is the first bag of the haul so far and it is this quilted brown crossbody bag that's kind of given me the vibe of the Uniqlo bags I absolutely love the Uniqlo bags they are the perfect size and I love how you can adjust these straps this one you can't so I have actually <laughs> tied the strap with a hairband and kind of done it in a little bow because it is so long and because it's the type of material that stretches the more stuff you put in it was literally like getting down to my knee which isn't ideal but this is absolutely massive i took this around norwich with me and there's so much space for it there is a zip pocket inside as well love the color of this this actually matches one of the items i'm going to show you in a minute um that i styled it with uh, i just think it's kind of like a different vibe it'd probably be quite a good bag to take through the airport but yeah the next item is a dress that has kind of like this wave pattern on it it's like a really dark gray almost like with a blue tinge i got this in an extra large because the large looked a little bit too tight for my liking and i kind of wanted a little bit of stretching given this it is so stretchy it's also got a slit down the back here so when you're walking it doesn't feel because it is quite tight fitting you can still get quite a good stride on when you're wearing it but i thought this would be perfect for again spring and summer quite easy to style up in different ways you can put like a belt with it if you want to cinch it in a little bit more you can wear it with some chunky sandals wear it with some heels on a night out or something just really liked how versatile that was and it's so soft i believe this was about i'm sorry if i can't remember the exact prices i think this is about 14 pounds and they do definitely still have this in store because i did see it yesterday but i bought that a few weeks ago and then the last two items from primark are these two pairs of trousers like i said i have started working full time at my job so i needed a few more different work outfits and a lot of my work trousers didn't fit me anymore so i had to get some new ones and i just loved the different kind of colors of these you've got a really blush lovely pink and this sage green and both of them have an elasticated back on the back of them but they are also a pocket a uh, button and zip fastening at the front you've got some pockets either side and they are almost wide leg but i would say they're more like a straight leg style but as a five foot eight lady they fit me in the leg they are the perfect length you've got belt loops here as well and you can get this as a full suit so you can get the blazer and the waistcoat that's not a, that's not a bit of me that's too formal for my job but i just absolutely love these i actually did get some kind of like white almost kind of like loafer style shoes to wear with them from Sainsbury's a few weeks ago 
because I feel like black is a little bit too harsh to pair with these colours because they are obviously quite spring colours. So I thought with pairing them with like a white cream shoe would look a bit better. But yeah, absolutely love these. So comfy and perfect for spring, especially going in to work and stuff. And wearing something a little bit different other than just black trousers. So yeah, absolutely love those. So that was everything, sorry, hay fever has fully kicked in for me today. Um, that was everything from Primark. I think what I will do next is show you two pairs of footwear. Also, just what I've mentioned before I go into the shoes, I know I've been showing you a lot of new clothes that I've been buying, but I have been selling a lot of my old clothes that I no longer wear or no longer fit me on my vintage, so I will leave that um, linked in the description below if you ever do want to buy any um, stuff from me that I've absolutely been loving vintage and I'm glad that a lot of my old clothes have been going to good homes but on to one of the two exciting pairs of shoes that I've brought and I kind of told myself I would never cave in to kind of the popularity of shoes because I am an avid fans old school wearer. I have had my old schools for many years. I've gone for about five or six pairs because it is literally my ride or die shoe. But recently, with a lot of the stuff I've been wearing, I've seen a lot of people style these particular shoes up in a really cool way. And they don't look as, oh, you've got a sneak peek there. They don't look as bulky as some trainers I've tried before have looked and I kind of really wanted to try them so I actually did found, find them for such a bargain and I was a bit dubious because they were like £30 cheaper than a lot of places are selling them so I was like thinking oh are they fake? They weren't. So I got myself some of the Adidas Sambas because I can't not, I cave into the the pressure of everyone else having them and I just got FOMO so I treated myself to some and I'm absolutely loving them so far I'm really <laughs> nervous about breaking these in because like I said I'm used to Converse and Vans and I've heard sometimes Adidas trains in particular these ones can be quite a pain to break in so let's see i will keep you updated but i'm hoping to do kind of like a styling reel of me showing you how i've been wanting to style them and like kind of getting the inspiration from a lot of other content creators i believe was it harry Styles that, that made these popular i'm not a fan of harry styles just a fan of these shoes and how cool they are they're just a little bit of a different style compared to my vans I like how they've got kind of different elements to them so you've got kind of like the top at the front you've got the gum sole and then the black stripes on the side it just adds a different dimension to an outfit so yes I will link them in the description below from where I got them from they are a hundred percent legit genuine sambas so pretty chuffed I got them for I think they're up there for £68 but I had a Amazon voucher so I got them for a slightly cheaper as well but absolutely brilliant and I absolutely love them and then as I said massive Converse lover I got myself another pair of Converse I got these from a website called Secret Sales which I'd never heard before but they basically sell either stuff like stock from shops that haven't been able to push a lot of their stock or kind of like dead stock at a crazy reduced price so I got these high top converse in like a chocolate brown colour for £32 can you believe it and they were actually still selling these in some of the shops full price but I just love kind of the different style of um, the different colour of these and I've actually been wearing them quite a lot recently more than I thought I would but yeah, they're just the normal all-star high tops. And if they're still available, I'll link them in the description below, but also link the website because I got another pair of like all black converse, the low tops for work to wear with some high um some wide leg trousers as an alternative to some work shoes. 
yeah absolutely love them and i was so chuffed with such a bargain so they are my two new bargain shoe editions that i absolutely love they're very different styles but i have been wearing a lot already and these ones are the ones that go with my um, bag from primark this bag what a perfect colour match, huh? Brilliant. I, I styled them together yesterday when we went to Norwich. Absolutely love that and so chuffed with it. So, we have reached the final section of this haul, this mammoth collective haul. We are going on to Sainsbury's first of the supermarket section of this haul. This is the first dress. I think this went quite like almost viral online a lot of people wanting this and i actually bought this for a wedding that i've got coming up i just absolutely love this gingham almost lime green um, print and color and this style is just so flattering but yeah i actually got this in a size 18 which shows that i have lost weight because i would always have to size up in sainsbury stuff because i do find they're on slightly on the smaller side but yes, this is going to be perfect for an August wedding I have. Can't wait to show you how I style this up completely in the complete look. But it's just got so many lovely details. You've got the ties on the sleeves that are elasticated. You've got this lovely like bustier section here. And you've got this like panel here that really like kind of sits nicely on your chest in your stomach. And then it just flows so nicely and you've got the button detail all the way down i believe this was around 25 pounds but they did have i think by the time this video goes up it won't um, be valid anymore but they did have 20 20 or 25 percent off all of their clothing so be sure to look out next time when they do that because a lot of the stuff that i ended up getting were using that um offer because it's just such a good way to um buy stuff from the supermarkets when they do that and then the last two items of which i can find sorry i have been wearing these are these wide leg almost kind of like waffle effect trousers that um have this drawstring but these are honestly some of the most comfortable pairs of trousers that i have found and i think they were around 15 pounds but honestly this is what i've been living in at the moment and I did actually get them in a khaki green colour as well as a different kind of option if I didn't want to wear black trousers. Same exact style. So these ones are perfect for me. You can kind of see the kind of like texture of the trousers a little bit more. It almost looks like a little bit like a wiggly kind of like stripe going down the leg. But absolutely love these. Like how you can... T um, Kind of make them tight around the waist and tie them up and stuff in the pockets been styling these a lot with like um t-shirts and like oversized cardigans and like jumpers like this just absolutely love them they're so comfy and i can't rave enough about them just get yourself to tu and get yourself some of these trousers they also have and i think i showed them in the tu what's in um real some leopard print wide leg trousers as well that i was so tempted to get but i didn't really need but they were so nice and i think they were around the same price but they were like a softer jersey material so i don't know if they would sit as well on you as those ones do because i find that sometimes you can see my cat behind me it's just jumped up george say hello he's frozen oh you can't see him there <laughs> but yeah i don't know if jersey sometimes you find that clings to you in the wrong way so i don't know if they would fit as well but yes on to tesco's which i don't know when i'm filming this will still have their 25 percent off their clothing or not but i got both of these items in the twist i told you they love to do percentages off their clothing i don't know if it was because it was around easter so maybe the next one will be like around the bank holiday in may but be sure to look out the first item i got from tesco's which is the fnf section is this kind of like acidy wash mesh 
bodysuit kind of a similar style to the dress that i got a new look it's got the scalped edges on the sleeves and it's kind of got like this double layer so the mesh is a bit of a looser one but yeah love it it's a round neck i got this in the size 18 it was 16 pounds but obviously got 25 percent off and just love how this looks i compare it with the black trousers that i just showed you uh midi skirt some jeans i feel like it's quite a versatile piece i'm going to the theater in london to see hamilton again so i think i might wear this with like a midi skirt or something and the fan biz i feel like that would be a good like casual yet you made an effort kind of outfit with like a leather jacket or a blazer i feel like that would look really nice and then you'll sense the theme that I've brought quite a lot of wide leg trousers recently as this is kind of the style that I've been kind of gravitating towards rather than always wearing jeans because I find they're just so comfortable and they're such a versatile piece that you can kind of style in a lot of different ways. So I think that I know these went viral on TikTok and stuff when a lot of people started styling these up and they're kind of like these striped black and cream linen trousers that have kind of like a section where the stripe goes a different way and they i got these in a size 18 and they were literally the last pair in the tesco's i looked in uh so i found like it was fate i kind of wanted to see if the shirt would look good with it because a lot of people mid style it up as a co-ord but i don't know if i could pull that off it's got a stretchy waistband don't know if i could have gone down a size in these but like i said they were the only ones left absolutely love these these will be perfect for spring and those summer evenings where you want to kind of have a little bit more coverage but you don't want something too heavy on you i just love kind of the wide leg style you'll have to follow me on my instagram to see how all of this stuff looks on i'll probably be doing lots of styling reels in the next few weeks when i get around to filming some new style content and stuff so you'll be able to see all of that and then finally on to the asda stuff you'll be happy to know there's only three more items for me to show you and then i will leave you in peace but it's been so lovely filming another youtube video for you all and showing you what i've been buying <laughs> and kind of trying to justify it to everyone and myself <laughs> so your first item it's the last bag of the whole haul i've made such a big thing about getting bags but if anyone had seen this on tiktok or instagram they know it's the um ganny ganny jeep bag that asda brought out and it is i think this was 12 pounds i just thought this would be perfect for disney and like our um trip to italy just to have like on me not a massive fan of the neon yellow kind of thing but i could always change those i just don't think that's a very nice design feature but it's got quite a big um pocket at the front that you could put your phone in and then it's quite roomy in here i like i could fit a lot of stuff in there and it's got a little zip pocket at the back as well but I just love this i know lapid print is having such a big style resurgence this year which i'm massively happy with because i absolutely love leopard print as much as my mum hates it i absolutely love styling it so having a leopard print bag is just perfect for me and i just love it it's like the perfect camera style bag and very happy i managed to get it it was the last one in our local asda so i feel like again it was fake just like the trousers and the bodysuit from tesco's i was meant to have this which is what i'm telling myself and then on to a pair of jeans that i i think this has been about the third or fourth pair of jeans that i've tried on that are cream that and third or fourth time was a charm because they fit so i got these from asda they were 20 pounds i did actually get them in a size 20 because i find their denim is a little bit on the small side but they're wide leg very long um that's not a very good look as april very long 
wide leg jeans and I just absolutely love them. I loved styling my ones up that I had from H&M a few years ago but they kind of lost shape a little bit. Um, so when I found these I just knew I needed to have them. £20 I don't think was too bad. I was very tempted to get some from Marks and Spencer's that were 35 so same with sell £15 on these and the only thing I will say they are a bit too long for me well to my liking this is like kind of ironic because they're they're long enough in the leg for me when I complained about having trousers they were long enough for me but I have a thing about wearing jeans just above my ankle I just think they're a little bit more flattering on my legs so I will be chopping some of this off to make them look a little bit better with how I style them with like my kind of converse high tops I feel like they're gonna look better like chopped off with the raw edges and stuff so you'll have to bear with me and you'll have to like believe in my vision with those but very chuffed with those and then the last item we've reached the last item are uh, another pair of wide leg trousers I told you I've got a problem with this but they are this kind of like beige um, almost like caramelly colour and these are from Asta they're a size 18 I've got these in the black and they were £14 I've got these in black already and they are the most comfiest pair of trousers as well so I kind of alternate between all of these and um, some the black ones that I've got from these already I just thought again these would be perfect for spring and summer and traveling around um florida or like traveling on the plane to florida and florence and stuff so yeah love these and get yourself to as there was also another pair that i wanted that were leopard print that i seen someone on instagram roxy um style but they didn't have my size in those but they were a lot more like wide leg and floaty and stuff so they'd be perfect for spring and summer as well but yeah that was everything i picked up my room now looks like a steak because i've literally thrown everything that i've just showed you all over the floor so that's probably going to take me about an hour to sort out that's my problem not yours thank you so much for watching my first upload in a very long time but hopefully not my last one i will hopefully be back with a few more videos i'm not going to commit to having one done next week but thank you for sticking around and i look forward to seeing you next time in my brand new video but until then bye